Become a member in the description box below. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. Oh, you think I look happy on the outside. Outside is like, but inside is like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Whoa, baby. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. Why? Because Sheriff David Clark has resigned his position at Milwaukee County in Wisconsin. That's right. Sheriff, what about black on black crime? Clark has resigned. Milwaukee County Clerk George L. Christensen told BuzzFeed News the sheriff submitted a letter of resignation at 3.16 p.m. local time. And not a minute too soon. Clark was an early and staunch supporter of President Trump during the campaign and was at one point thought to be considered for a cabinet position in his new administration. There's been talk that Sheriff Clark will be joining Trump and the Department of Homeland Security as a undersecretary or vice secretary or a backup secretary or assistant secretary. I don't know. But whatever he's doing, as long as he doesn't get a microphone, I'm good with that. Oh, yeah. Sheriff Clark was known to go on CNN and MSNBC and show just how hard he could diss black people. That was his job. Make black people seem violent. And also to degrade any possibility of charging police officers for anything. And I do mean anything. And don't let a police officer get shot. Oh, my God. This had to be the moment where Sheriff Clark would come out and blame all black people, blame Black Lives Matter, as if Black Lives Matter was a mafia hit squad going after cops. Sheriff Clark never had any information or data to support his arguments that Black Lives Matter was this organization that went around executing police officers. But that didn't stop him from going on news shows and spewing that nonsense. Sheriff David Clark was the black Giuliani, but just taller. And I like Sheriff David Clark just as much as I like Rudy Giuliani, which is just as much as I like gout. Sheriff David Clark never, ever accused a cop of anything, even when cops were red-handed caught. Murderers, executors of people like Tamir Rice, the 12-year-old boy who was shot in two seconds with no time to drop the toy gun. Sheriff Clark made no mention of him. Laquan McDonald, young man out of Chicago, shot 15 or so times, 14 of which why he laid on the ground unarmed. Sheriff Clark never met a police officer he didn't want to make love to and prop up at the expense of whoever they shot. You know, everything out of Sheriff Clark's mouth was a put down of black people in general. It was a dog whistle, but it always worked well with conservatives because, hey, if you want to sell that black people deserve to be shot by cops, who better to sell it than a black cop? Sheriff Clark was dishonest, disingenuous, and disrespectful. He would go on any talk show imaginable and proclaim how police officers have the most dangerous job in the universe. Though in reality, it doesn't even crack the top 10. But these are just facts, mere, mere annoyances to Sheriff Clark. They got in the way of his narrative, which was, make black people bad, cops good. So Sheriff Clark, I'm glad you're out of your job. I'm glad you retired. I don't know who they're going to find to replace you, but they would have to look long and hard to find someone more hateful to the black community than Sheriff David Clark. Goodbye, Sheriff, and good riddance.